Hi, I'm Hossam Delay, Microsoft MVP. In this video, we'll learn how we can use the switch with uh, Xamarin Forms. So here I have the switch user control rendered for each platform. So here I can change the switch between uh, the two uh, Boolean, uh, Boolean values which are true or false. So let's see how to implement this one. So here I have the home page here. I have a stack layout that contains a label uh, which will display the value of uh, the toggle switch. And here I will declare the switch. So it's um, switch. I will add a property to my switch for the horizontal options to the uh, center. So now I have added the switch to my user control. Now I want to, um, to fire an event each time uh, my switch is uh, changed uh, by the user. For that, I have here a couple of um, events and properties. And the event that um, enable me to get the value whenever the switch value changes is the toglet event. For that, I'll go and create um, an event for the toglet event handler. So here, inside this event, I can catch the value of um, of the uh, toglet uh, switch using the e property which is of type toglet event args so now if i type e dot then i get a property called value which is of type boolean using this value which i will uh, call is a toglet then using this value i, I will display uh, its uh, value inside my uh, main label here. For that, I'll go and type main label dot text equal is toglet dot value. Uh, sorry, is toglet dot uh, to string. So now by running this application again. I can get um, this switch added to my user interface and this switch um, now uh, will fire this event called switch on toglet and get the current value of uh, the switch and then show it inside the main label. So here it is, the switch again here. So now let's say I want to use the X reference instead of this code. So here I go and um, re uh, delete this event handler and give a name to my switch, let's call it main switch, for example. Of course, we'll use that name here. So here for the label, I go and type the text property and bind it um, to the source, which is of type X reference, and tell it I want to bind it to my uh, main uh, switch. For the main switch, as I have many properties related to the main switch, I want to bind it specifically to the um, to the uh, toglet, the is toglet uh, value here. So now I go and run my application again.
Yes, so now here it is displaying the current value of the switch inside each of my platforms. So thank you.